Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right. let, let's start with Devontae Adams. Uh, I was actually the one that put out there about the Raiders reaching out to the Steelers, oh. uh, not vice versa. So this past summer, as we know, the Steelers were kind of turning over a bunch of stones on the receiver market. Um, and the Raiders were one of the teams that they contacted. Omar was kind of told to screw off at that point in time. The Raiders had no interest in moving Devontae Adams. That tone has very much changed. Uh, I think when you go back to even – this is a couple weeks ago, and I don't think people thought Devontae Adams fell into this category, but if you guys remember – Post game, Antonio Pierce was talking about guys making business decisions. Right, 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 yeah, right, right, right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They might have to start making some business decisions. I think a lot of people, like Jack Jones, there was a play that was highlighted where he didn't really want to get in on a pile, wasn't part of a tackle. Uh, you could see that. Those were the players I think people thought were being kind of categorized there by Antonio Pierce. Then you see Antonio Pierce liking an Instagram post about Devontae Adams potentially getting traded. You see Devontae Adams held out this week with a hamstring injury, yet he's still doing you know, appearances on podcasts and doing some right, media right. availability and stuff like that. And you start to get your mind going. So he was on up in Adams with Kay Adams today talking about the situation and said he hadn't heard anything. It's been radio silence from Antonio Pierce. He has no clue why he liked that post. Hadn't talked to Tom Kalesko, the GM. Maybe oh. two hours afterwards, it comes out that he himself has now asked the team for a trade. 